What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube draft. I'm going to take this Consecrated Sphinx. We had one in our previous draft, and we're unable to play it, unfortunately, but that's okay. Volcanic Island, also very good. Uh, if any of these three lands come back, well, maybe just these two. Either are we taking Consecrated Sphinx, and we're, we're going to play around that guy. So, deal with it. Never again is what you swore. The time before. Oh, what up, Hardest of Core? Hmm. Got yeah, first pick Consecrated Sphinx. What's our second pick? Baleful Strix? That seems good. Fiery Confluence, also good. Coligon's Command, also good. Bone Crusher Giant, also fine. I mean, me personally, I think Baleful Strix is about where I want to be. It doesn't put us into three colors like these guys do. Yeah, we'll take a Baleful Strix. I bet one of those cards comes back, so. Ah, oh, boy. I like Tamio and I like Alrun's Epiphany. I kind of think Tamio is stronger. Man, but I do like a good time walk. I'm going to take the time walk here. I'm just a sucker for a, an extra turn. Especially in a, in a legacy cube where you're not going to find true time walk. This is like one of the best things we can get. I like Kalidus. Go for the third is also fine in a, in a cube that's more centered around creatures. I don't hate Hedron Archive either. I'm going to take the Hedron Archive actually. Oh, Murderous Rider. Okay. I do love a Phyrexian Obliterator, but it's it's not the most common deck that you can play it in, so. Court of Bounty. I mean, this pack's pretty rough. I think we're just taking sort of Body and Mind. Maybe we put it on a bird or a Baleful Strix. I could see it. Ooh, Choops. Choop a loop. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm okay with this uh, This initial seven cards. This guy looks like it should fly, right? Am I crazy? And I'm just going to take... Sh actually, we'll take Blood Chief's Thirst. This kills a Planeswalker, which could be relevant. I don't love Vampire Nighthawk, but considering we have Hedron Archive, I might just take Warren Power Stone. Oh, the Bloodline Keeper came back. So did the Coligon's Command. I think we're just taking Bloodline Keeper. Man, that was a spicy pack. I never cared much for moonlit skies. What are the best land tax art? I mean, the OG is the best land tax art. Hmm. 
Hmm, Ember Shieldbreaker and Angrath's Rampage. Shieldbreaker. If we are going to play red, this just targets any artifact, whereas Angrath's Rampage will have enough art, uh, Planeswalker and creature removal that I don't need something of that nature. Okay, well... And the blue really got cut off hard. I think actually that Soren's trash. I'll just take the Thunder Moth. That Soren is doo doo. Oh, Splinter Twin. Okay. I think it's just Ugin here, especially with Hedron and Warm Power Stone. Yeah, that seems like a pretty easy pick, especially if we can go Alrin's Epiphany into Ugin. Oh, coma. That puts a squirrely in Sultai, and I think this card is actually good enough to do it. We just pick up all the fixing. Like, the, there are other options in this pack are not good, so I'm going to take coma. And three lands that are all white. Sounds good. This pack is also bad. Like, I'm taking the double green card, but I don't want to take the triple green card. It's a little it's a little where I draw the line. I think we can take a Duress here. Yeah, this pack's not great. Yep, another two more white lands. All right, sounds good. I guess it's Dismember here. Another triple green card. Sounds good. Shut up and take my money. Oh, anime dead too. Oh, orange soda slaps. One orange soda slaps buck. Actually, maybe anime dead's the pick. We can actually discard our own coma to an animate dead somehow. Yeah, I'll take animate dead. It's more exciting than random dismember. I never cared much for moonlit skies. Oh, I like a chromatic lantern. That actually solves a lot of our problems. Mana War also pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, we're just taking the lantern here. I used to ramble through the dark. Horser's rough. Recurring nightmare does nothing for us when we have six creatures. Maybe we can still build around it. We're getting no fixing whatsoever. Like, <laughs> there's only one black or blue card in this pack. And it's Recurring Nightmare. I think we just take that, I guess. It could also just be black-red. Get rid of the blue. That seems not great either. I'll take Recurring Nightmare and hope that something allows us to interact with it. Oh, Collective Brutality. We have Animate Dead and, and Recurring Nightmare actually could be decent. It's obviously better than Smuggler's Copter when we have, again, six creatures, two of which cost more than six mana. <clears throat> um, yeah, Duplicate's actually reasonable. Shielder, I don't think we need just another seven drop. I'd rather just have the Duplicate here. I do like a Thirst for Knowledge. It's also another way to get cards in the graveyard. And we do have quite a few artifacts to pitch, so that's actually fine. Oh, Blooming Marsh came back. That's helpful. Our first fixing land. Oh, I'll take Seraph, I guess. Jesus. This is painful, man. <laughs> what is going on? And we'll take Edric, I guess, because it's a creature that we can put in our deck. And it goes quarter. All right. This is not.
Oh, I'm beginning to see the light. All right, this third pack kind of has to deliver here. <laughs> All right, we'll take a hunt master. Shambling vent? Not bad if we plan on playing the Seraph. Oh, Primeval Titan, huh? Well, that's interesting. I like Vanishing Verse a lot. I think it's a really good, really good removal spell. Um, I'm going to take the Prime Time, and we're just going to take lands very, very aggressively. Ooh, I like a course of portal a lot. No lands in here. Let's go with course of portal. That card's good enough for vintage cube. Wretched Confluence, Venser, Karn. All cards I would not mind seeing again. Oh my god, where are the lands? <laughs> Brup Decay is actually good. It gives us something new in four. So this is extended art. And this is not. And this is extended art. And this is not. And I really don't understand any of it. Take abrupt decay, I guess. Did you ever sell that Hulk 181? I did. I did. Wow, still no lands, huh? Okie dokie. Sounds good. Well... Chromatic Lantern's really, uh, really keeping us going here, it looks like. I think Elder Gargaroth is probably better than Vivian. I actually kind of like Bitter Blossom here because we have Recurring Nightmare. I'm going to take the Bitter Blossom. Wooded Foothills actually doesn't get us anything. Lumbering Falls, too good not to take, unfortunately. Jesus. Jeez, Temporal Mastery, fine. Yeah, all right, well, that's the end. That is the end of the lands. Temple Garden, that's a good one for us. Just kidding. Solid white cards. Archon, Iona, Magister. Oh boy. Well, that was really uneventful in terms of lands. We could makeshift mannequin because now we have... Uh, we're not playing makeshift mannequin. We'll take it, but we're not going to play it. This deck is... <laughs> it's not not ideal not our best not our best work here unfortunately oh actually I, I took all the prints and stuff off my wall so like there's no wall art or anything and uh there's definitely more of an echo in here it's kind of wild i mean that's obviously how things work right but it's so funny when you actually experience it oh what up phil is that a is that a parks and rec reference Acoustics. How do they work? Yeah, I'll take an arena. I cut something, huh? Probably cut duress. Uh, Una's Prowlario. Oh, buried alive. Pitch Kona Consecrated Primeval Titan. That's a late sneak attack. Second to last pick sneak attack. Okay, buddy. Now that the stars are in your eyes. So we got Lumbering Falls, Blooming Marsh. All right. <laughs> 15 basics. 
Yeah, now we have Bitter Blossom Recurring Nightmare. We got Thirst to discard, Collective Brutality to discard. <sighs> and this deck does not look good. So I'm looking forward to our 3-0 here. We don't actually have many blue cards. We're heavy black. Six, seven, four, five, five, six, seven. Five, six, four, five, six. This is six, six, seven. Sure, done. We do have Chromatic Lantern and Primeval Titan. Hmm. I think we can keep this. Any black source and we're good. I find the best words for testing acoustics are monosyllabic. If you say treats short and sharp, you get a great feel for the acoustics. You should give it a... Are you trying to... Only Hunter is in here right now and he's asleep. Are you guys trying to be crafty? I should literally just actually go to add lands let them put whatever they want in and just ride it like that. Maybe I actually get mana screwed because I don't put the lands in that they like. <sighs> Three islands. Three islands. Oh, dear. Well, here we go. Our opponent's name is Magic of Player One. What does that even mean? Sure. Oh, man. They didn't do anything and they missed a land drop? Sure. They probably have animate dead. They're like, I'll keep it in case I could just get one land. Oh, look, I got one land. Good for you, buddy. Yeah, all right, cool. Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Always an absolute pleasure. Yeah. I mean, say what you want about my mana base. It's not great. It's not the most perfect mana base ever, but drawing literally three blue sources not great not great bob so you know that's cool see that's a keeper Did I pick these lands? No, no, I did not. Why would I ever pick M15 lands? Why would I ever do that? I used to ramble through the dark. That's cool, I don't care about those. Oh, good. So I'm gonna let go Thirst, because they're just gonna make us discard a second card next turn anyway. Right, so like... Kind of annoying. So if we play this, we do have mana for Al runs, which is good. But we do have to discard the animate dead, which is bad. Oh well. I'm sure they're just gonna discard uh warm coil here. No, just a swamp. All right, so our anime did was not live anyway, so. <sighs> God, that's annoying. Cool, dude. <sighs> nice.
Him to Torok into Liliana is really, really good. I mean, we, we, at least we, we have an exhume uh, protection. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, now we're just doing this. <laughs> Okie dokie. Attack Liliana. Hey, look at that. No more cards. Get your entomb on. I never look back at fireflies. Warm coil again. I wonder if that's like just their best option. Sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that is fascinating. Land? Oh, come on. That's brutal, dude. Wait, I have the mana. Huh. That's fascinating. I don't need the... Red return. Cool. I have one card in hand. So they can go make me sack, sack the other guy, sack the... Hmm. Let's play the marsh here. Oh, I guess I overpaid because I literally had the, <laughs> the warm power song. That's fine. I don't really think it's going to matter that much. Or at all. So we prevent six. Just gonna take six here. We can go to eight. Zoom. Sure. And then they bounce my consecrated sphinx. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Well, they have one card left.
I guess I shouldn't be adding black, huh? Blue, oh, green, green, and one more green. Oh, good, they're paying costs. <laughs> Fuck. Congratulations. Holy shit. <laughs> Man. I want to be the very best like no one ever was to have every fucking thing I ever need. Super cool, man. Super cool. Just never don't have it. I don't know why you don't just Doomblade the Consecrated Sphinx and then keep your Teferi alive. That seems significantly better. But, I don't know. They probably drew, actually that because they probably drew it off the Teferi. Yeah, that's that's probably what happened. They probably did not have it, otherwise you don't waste your Teferi and you just kill the threat. But Especially because they Inquisition, so they knew my hand. Right? Like, <laughs> it's like, it's so fucking incredible, dude. So fucking incredible. Sure. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right. I mean, uh, getting Grave Titan and Worm Coil Engine the last two rounds have not been the scariest things you can get. Sure. I'd like to hit a land here. That would be fantastic. We did. Abrupt Decay. I don't know if I care about Crucible, but I also don't think I care about Giver of Runes. And they missed a land drop, did they? No. Uh, either way, we're going to kill this stupid thing. Black, green. Reason being, like, we don't have a way to kill a Grave Titan in our hand anyway, so I don't really care if they give it protection. Like, we have a Baleful Strix, so I guess we can block it. But. That's, that's a thing, I guess. Well, I would sure love to play a Consecrated Sphinx this turn, but I guess we're going to settle for a Gargaroth. I don't know what question mark in the chat means. That's not how effective communication works. Oh, cool. Seems good. <laughs> there you go. You want to play this? Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, they have two cards. I think we're still slightly ahead. Our hand is also very good. And if they have an exhume, then we get our Gargaroth back. 
path to exile. Shut up and take my money. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ampersand is right, buddy. Ampersand is right. Ampersand was the name of Yorick's monkey, I believe, in uh, Why the Last Man. It's a little trivia for you. Oh, you get a crucible back. Okay. Uh, no blocks. Oh. Well, you got one thing up, so one. Is this what we want to do? Yeah, they can only get. Yeah, let's draw two. Our epiphany is also much better next turn. <laughs> I was going to Ugin in negative six, but then they get to keep their solemn simulacrum, so that doesn't do what we want it to do, unfortunately. Mm. So I played this, they immediately had an answer. I played this, they immediately had an answer. I played this, they immediately had an answer. Sounds good. Just wanted to make sure that I'm not missing anything where I'm like, oh, this actually stayed on the board for a turn. Yeah. You know, just like the last draft where they had Crater Hoof exactly when they needed it. Last round they had... Uh... What? They just... What? I'm very confused. Like, what's the point of this? Fucking cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Actually, negative six here might be decent. Because they don't have anything else on board. And they won't have creatures. This is actually... Not terrible. Getting rid of Solemn Simulacrum is actually pretty good. Also, Ugin plus Alrin's Epiphany, Ugin plus seems decent. <laughs> Zimmy Pot, I think the answer is just draft more removal, I guess. Who knows? I just work here. Well, you got carrots. Sure. That's just fine. Thank you. Hmm. I guess we kind of have to do this now, don't we? And then they can crack us it back to their hand. Ugh. Shoot your face. Arctic Avenger with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, this sucks because we lose our birds, but the alternative is them caracasing this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're still going to six. Oh, Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Mm, bounce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess they could take a windswept heath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Watch, we're going to be able to put them to three, and then they're just going to have, uh... Well, actually, Sun Titan. Fucking God, are you serious? <sighs> Never ends. Cool. Negative five, Ugin, play duplicant as a creature and choose not to imprint. Sweet. Mm. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've drawn 11 lands and 4, 5. <laughs> okay. I don't know what's happening right now. Sure. As a man. <laughs> Play him as a man. Okay. Yep. Sweet. And they have Caracas, so they can just keep returning their Emrakul to their hand. Seems good. Of course it's a fucking land. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be a fucking land? Makes total sense. Like, kind of amazing. I don't know. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm not going to play a colorless ghost quarter in our three color deck just to hit one Caracas. Uh, just not not ideal. Let's keep this and ship duplicate, I guess. I mean, our man is already as rough enough as it is. Like, Come on, Thank one power stone or chromatic lantern. Nature's little treasure with the resub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. And it was an abrupt decay. Well, this is going to be fun. What are the odds we hit no further lands for the next two turns? I'm going to put it at 86%. That is my amateur estimation. 86%. No lands for two turns. Okay. One turn. Another six drop. Sounds good. So now I have four, five, six, six, six. Got it. Still have 17 lands, a uh, Chromatic Lantern, a Worn Power Stone, and a Hedron Archive. So just to be clear, they're going to draw their one Crucible and their one Windswept Teeth every single game. We're not even going to draw a fourth land. So this is the second turn we're not going to land. <laughs> These lands are the fucking worst, dude. Take them out of your cubes. They're fucking terrible. They actually... I, I can count the number of times these lands have been terrible. And the number of times the check lands, like if this was just a uh, woodland cemetery, like it, it would be 90% better. Yep, here we go. Oh, God. So we did hit a land. I guess I was wrong. It was just absolutely fucking useless. So, you know, similar but different. Good times, good times. They're already at 12? Like, I don't even understand. Yeah, cool. Cool. It's actually comically not terrible, I guess. Even though, like, we still missed another land drop. Super cool, dude. Uh, glad they draw their Crucible in their literal single fetch land every game. <laughs> Why do you have this with my one fetch land? Like, I have more fetch lands in my deck. Like, you, can, I don't even think this is good unless you have, like, f at least four fetch lands. Oh, boy. Fucking Christ. This is exhausting, dude. And I'm sure this guy's dead at the end of the turn, right? It's just... No chance. Sure. I 
I don't understand playing that there. Dude. I guess they're probably just gonna slam a Lash Norn and then kill us with that. Sure. Yeah, fucking of course you are. Cool. Fun games. All right. O2. Haven't won a game. Uh I would love to say our deck is not uh tier one, which I did. I did say it wasn't the best deck, but I also don't think I can compete with the sheer amount of fucking luck that our opponents have had so far. So, you know. What can you do? Can't believe this is round three already. I've been waiting for this day. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Well, at least we got a power stone on three. And a primeval titan we will never be able to cast. Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm just over it. I'm so over it right now. If there wasn't 50 play points on the line, which is like half a draft. Okay. <laughs> just fucking stop. Just fucking stop, dude. Black source? No, it's a seven drop. If it was a black source, we could actually kill the Dak Faden. But since it wasn't, we actually have nothing to do here except give them a power stone. Oh my god. I'm trying to shake it off because like usually when um your opponents are this fucking lucky, um, you have to kind of be like, wow, this is just comical. This is not even I can't even get upset. But it is kind of fucking obnoxious. Like it's pretty obnoxious. Okay, cool. Shut up and take my money. Oh, and they have a euro in the graveyard. Draft step. Watch the poorly made animated pilot I did. I'll do that. <laughs> Negation. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Holy shit. That's so fantastic. That's so fucking fantastic. Wow. That's amazing. Like, holy shit, dude. That's incredible. Wow. Act of negation. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah, let me post the link in the chat. Actually, Juposhi, can you post the link in the chat? Because I have to load that thing up. I have to go to the, the, the Streamlabs website and then check the history. Whereas if you just put it in the chat, I can just click the link. Fucking unbelievable, dude. That's amazing. Dak Faden... The turn before I'm going to play Warren Power Stone. Packed of Negation, the single answer that I have. Like, what? <laughs> Fucking perfect. <laughs> Jesus. I don't even want to play Brutality here. Like, I don't think they're going to do much. So. <laughs> I'm just, like, over it. Like, I'm sorry, guys. What a fucking discouraging draft this has been. Juposhi's she's like, no, I don't want to post it in the chat. I've given what I've given what I wanted. Oh, there it is. All right, Let's see what this is. The tubes. <laughs> Guys, twenty-one minutes. I mean, I'll definitely watch it for sure. But Let's see, if we could have taken that. I'd rather get some secondary value out of it, though. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Oh, I didn't even play Bloodline Keeper because I'm just, like, distracted and fucking over it. Sorry, guys. That's pretty bad. I guess they would have just killed it, but, you know, it's still better than... I guess they're still going to do that, but...
Uh, they're going to make a vampire and shoot it? Yeah, cool. Okay. I'm just going to kill this now. I don't feel like discarding this because we can play it with any green source. And Duplicate actually gets rid of this guy if we really needed to. Thank you! Oh, Nature's Little Treasure with the gifted subs too? What a maniac. Dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you! You are awesome, my dude. Thank you! Fucking Christ. I'm done. I'm actually done. Oh, the old, the old preemptive good games too. Super, super good, Thank you. super good BMs. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.